All right, all right, all right. Put those hands together. Welcome to you, to you, to you, and you, and you, everyone. Welcome to the Overcomers Bible Fellowship. Certainly, we are delighted, can't you tell, to have you here. And uh, we promise you that a nugget, because we're talking about Christian nuggets today, will be sure that you can take away and use in your life uh, maybe more than one. So before that, this is why I'm going to encourage you to grab your pen and your paper, as always, because during the show, you might want to jot down a notation. And certainly at the end of the show, you may very well want to contact us. And so our contact information will be there. You are so precious for tuning in. Thank you for your time. We realize that it's valuable, that it's priceless, that it's precious. And for you to spend this time with us, we are honored. And so from our hearts to your hearts, thank you so much. On behalf of Bishop Blake and Mrs. Blake, the West Angeles family, Elder Green and Mrs. Green, and all of us, from me to you, we love you, bless you. I won't be back, so I'm going to bid you farewell now. The blessing of the Lord be upon you, and do know that I love you. God bless you. Take care. I'm, oh, let me tell you what I'm going to do. Take you into the classroom of Overcomers Bible Fellowship, where there are some of us that you'll be seeing sharing nuggets. And so just sit back, and uh, as you are um, shared, uh, Elder Bear, uh, Aaron Bankhead, uh, Dale Hill, various ones will share little nuggets. And so kind of horn in on what God will speak to your heart. Now we're ready to go into the classroom. God bless you. We're a time of change. We're a time of a new president, possibly. Let's not get our eyes on what we think we see, what we hope we see. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible, I still have, a brain, have half a brain on my best day. I still see through the glass talking on my best day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Full of speaking in tongues on my best day. Also. So let's put our hope and trust in the Lord because at this time, we've got to trust. Amen. Because if the temple is destroyed, as it was, and Jesus, Jesus prophesied, it's going to be destroyed. So they're preparing, and they don't even know if the world's going to come for it, that the temple is being destroyed, even after this book is over, finished, being written. Now we're going to leave the temple gone. What are we going to do now? We're going to have to know him for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Elder, Elder, Elder was saying uh, that him being God's son, God made me put in my heart. And don't you know what my love for you? Yes. Yes. Don't you know what my love for you? Come on, just put your hand on yourself. Amen. And say, God loves me. God loves me. Lord, Lord, Lord help me. Help me to understand. To embrace, to embrace, to grasp hold on to grasp hold the reality, the reality of, your love, of your love, of your love, of your love, of, of, your, of your, your love, love for, for me. 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 At your, at your chair. Me. For me. For me. 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 Anyway, God is so good. At the same time for me on Monday, one of the nuggets that we should get from what Carla said is she needed God. She needed to see for herself. Mm -hmm. That she could trust God for herself. Mm -hmm. The manifestation has to come from ourselves. Yes, yes I can hear that you're blade and I can tell you a little bit and you all the time, but I need to know that I know that I know for myself. Because at 1220 on Monday for me, Sierra, I was in a staff meeting I didn't want to be in. Talking about stuff I didn't want to talk about. Right. And it wasn't nothing changing. And then he hit me and I said, oh, I should write tomorrow the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. So 
much for that. And I could have taken that and ran with it. And been depressed and discouraged and all oh, hell was the area. You always come here saying stuff like that. Tomorrow, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Somebody said, thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God. Turn very quickly in your lesson. The Lord showed this to me and it just knocked my socks off. It's part of the lesson, but it's a chapter, the, the verse right before it. And I have to read the Amplified Version because it reminded me, I come to remind you that he's been, we've been on his mind so long. Say so long. So, so long. long. We've been on the mind of God so long. And I have to remind myself that remember the man did say it might not have been 24 hours. Yeah, he did say that. So I'm going to remind you of stuff. He said it might be 24, it might be 5 days, it might be good. But your tomorrow is coming. So I'm going to have to check me. Because I'm about ready to go off. It's 12 20. Tomorrow's the same time. Look at, very quick, Hebrews 11 4. Right before our lesson begins, our lesson begins Hebrews 12 and 1. But chapter 11 is about all these folks of faith. Yeah. That's right. Right. You know, we had to be tortured and was put in cages and was in, in lion's dens. But they proved their faith. They had faith. Yet they still did not receive the promise. And verse 40 says, Because God had us in mind, my God, and had something better and greater in view for us, so that they, these heroes and heroes of faith, should not come to perfection apart from us before we could join them. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. We were on the mind of God before we were even in our mother's womb. Yes. My God. Yes, yes, yes. And all we got to go through is born and stand in the womb of men. All right, all right. Oh, y'all didn't catch that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all we got to go through is folk talking about us. Yes, yes, Ooh. yes. All we got to go through is harassing employers. All right, now. All we got to go through is smoking on our nerves. Because you ain't got pain here going to talk about you. All we got to go through, these uh, folks were tortured. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Put in lines in just for sport. Yes, yes, yes. He said, but because God had us on his mind. Yeah. has you on his mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And part of knowing about God is to realize that when we are in meetings that we don't want to be in, when people are talking about us that we wish they would not, we have to do certain things because we have to do the certain thing. God being so much God that he has allowed us the privilege to be in position to be in meetings that we might not want to be in. Come on now. And this is not going for here, this is for all of us. This is what that gets us all. My, my. That if we were to look at the fact that, okay, just using that example, yes. you know what? I don't want to be here. But Lord, I thank you because I really don't have to be here. Mm -hmm. But because you have afforded me yes. the privilege the honor, yes, the opportunity yes, to be here. Now, everybody's not here. Mm -hmm. Everybody on this job is not here. Mm -hmm. But I've been singled out, or I'm in that selected group, I'm in that small group mm -hmm. that have been afforded the opportunity to be in the Okay, they're talking about me. Well, Lord, I thank you that they think that I'm important enough to be talking about.
and everything, but she just, we talk about things that have worth. Do you see what I'm saying? And so the way, and it kind of ties back into what Joel was saying, Joel O.C. was saying this morning. Don't keep playing those channels in your mind that will take you there. Those self-pity channels, uh, channels. Those challenge, channels that would not build you up, that would only bring down. This is to all of us. Yeah, I'm only using Adele as a public example because that's what she put it out there. Yeah. But that's for all of our lives. Yeah. We have to stop tripping, y'all. Yeah. There is a place of rest in God when we trust Jesus as our leader, when we trust God, whether it be disciplining us. Because sometimes, well, no, not sometimes. We know we, know we should be disciplined the times that we are. And we know God's mercies when he kept us from being disciplined as we should have been and we know we should have been disciplined. Yes. There are times when I say, I, mama should, yeah, mama, mama, my mother did not spare the rock at all, period. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee you, as many times as she got me, she should have got me more times. Because there were times when I got away with things that maybe mama knew about or did not know about. But all I'm indicating to you, I'm glad that mother, my, that my mom worked my butt. I'm glad for every time she looked at me with her eyes. I'm glad for every time. She, she, oh, I, I, I'm just so glad. Amen. Why? Because you look at. Don't believe that lie. That 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 that, that, that your child or your grandchild is so good that you never have to discipline them. Then you send the Bible a lie. Either you are a lie or the Bible's a lie. Somebody's a lie. <laughs> yeah. that, 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 you know what? Well, I just know that you, you know I mean? when that child tells you no, when that child slaps you in your face, you better try to put a hand on that child. That's not cute. No, it's not. Don't let no child disrespect you like that. No, that's not cute. No, nobody. Nobody. I don't have to whip my like, dog. I don't have to spank him. I, I, I no, and, and if you want to spank, you should have been spanked. Right. No, in our day, we don't. We you should have been with. Right. <laughs> either, either, either God is alive by saying that we spare the rod and spoil the child, or you are alive. Amen. That's it. That's just one of the other. But one thing about it, when we begin to process even those negative, even being disciplined, mm -hmm. those negative experiences, and I won't begin to look at them from another angle. Mm -hmm. yes. We will begin to rest in the peace that comes of knowing that my God is yet in charge of my life. And, 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 and then we'll find ourselves, we should find ourselves resting to get to, okay, Lord, okay, forgive me for for that mindset that I had. Now, Lord, help me to glean what you would have me to glean. Help, help me, Lord God, and help, help, help me to see what you would have me to see in this. Help me to hear what you would have me to hear. Help me to do what you would have me to do Amen. in this. Amen. Help me not to miss my appointment. Amen. You know, sometimes you say you don't miss, you know the Bible that the person will read the devil is alive. You ain't the only one. Because sometimes my Bible, so, sometimes my papers may get a little smudgy. Hello. So I'm not the only Bible. You're not the only Bible, but the Lord uses us all as Bibles in the lives of people. And if I'm too busy tripping about, trip when I'm tripping about, then I can't be my best and my and, and my brightest. You understand what I'm saying? So we cannot miss the moment, y'all. Yes. Oh Lord. We can't miss the moment because it's not that that person won't be blessed. We won't be blessed because the Lord is not about to let errors. Eternal salvation, eternal life be, be, be depend on whether or not if he sees Jesus in my life or not or only in my life. No, he's going to have all y'all. You, you see what I'm saying? All of us bear witness. Not just one person. Because we ain't got it going on like that now. Where, where, where George, whether or not he go to heaven or hell, it's all depending on me. No, uh, no. And that's why when the Bible asked him, I said, the devil is alive. And I know it don't mean the harm. But I'm just checking him to know, no, you lie. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. Because he, because for us to accept that is to say that that's just how much God loves me. God only loves me enough just to let me see him in a needle. Yeah. 
on the days when I need a trip. But no, uh -uh. no, 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 Amen. no. So. Amen. Okay, where we go from here? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Don't ever get a twisted, y'all. Whenever the Lord allows us to go a different direction, we all we still are tied to the Lord because we're talking about trust in Jesus, and we're talking about going through some things, and we're also talking about the fact of realizing who we are in Him. But let's just uh, well, let's just examine a couple of verses and and see what the Lord will speak to our hearts. Um, as Aaron said, this was a time of persecution for the saints. See, we think we've been persecuted, but we really haven't been. Uh, you know, I mean, and, 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 and yeah, we may have experienced some things, but I tell you, there are saints that have experienced a whole lot more than what we have in this present time. I'm not talking about years ago. I'm talking about in this present time today. We are boldly, we are freely been able to gather together in Jesus' name. Yes. There are other people that better not gather together in Jesus' name. They better even put Jesus on your lips. For the truth. For the truth. And so that means that we can go through y'all what we, what we have. There's even a scripture talking about you ain't shed no blood. Right. You haven't shed your life. Right. Yeah, I know they're talking about you, but you ain't shed your life. I love that I like you, but you ain't shed your life. Come on. And that's what verse 4, whatever. Yes. Yes. You know what? We have not resisted. Well, well, what does verse 4 say? You yeah. have not yet resisted. And when it says in the New Living Translation, after all, you have not yet given your lives in your struggle against sin. So stop acting like you have. Because you react. You know, so yeah, it's cost us something, but it hasn't cost us everything. Read verse 1, please. Oh, people. 
people that will bless you and help you. Yes. Amen. By a crown brings to the light of faith. See, you, we, are, we, we are surrounded by people who've already been there and done that. Right. You're not the first one right. Right. to have experienced cancer. You're not the first one to experience a broken marriage. You're not the first one to experience your children been on drugs. You're not the first one to experience being fired from a job. You're not the first one. And we're not minimizing anyone because those are major things. But the point being, like we act sometimes, that we're the only one going through something. And I always just have to kind of chuckle because people sometimes will say, and this just always amazes me, do you ever go through anything? <laughs> <laughs> How could you imagine that, that there is someone, people that are exempt from what Bishop Brady goes through? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I even, the, the Holy Ghost had to put me in ticket that even on, yeah, on last night. Because the house next door to me, they, you, know, was, you know how it was hot, and they had, they had a nice backyard, they were back in their backyard, with family and friends. And that's, and that's very special to me. I, th I think when you get older, mm -hmm. family yeah. becomes even more yeah. precious yeah. to you. Yeah. Yeah. But remember, in everybody's household, something. there is something, something going on. Something. There is some kind of drama. There is something going on. And that, and that kept to give me a balance back. Yeah, they, they are celebrating then, but, but they are celebrating in spite of something that's going on. In the midst of. And so, yes, but, 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 but we are surrounded by a of witnesses that say, you know what, ah, Aaron, you just really can't tell me. You can't tell me that God can't do No, 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 you just can't tell me. You can't tell me that if I need a job, God is not going to give me a job. You just, you really can't tell me that. And I remember I experienced someone, uh, someone that was really key in my life that began to tell me, counteract kind of what the Bible was saying. And at that point, I said, I, I'm sorry, I cannot receive that. I said, because if I let go of my faith in that regard, I don't have anything else. In all humans, I, I cannot. And so you have to know you have to speak it over your life. You have, you have to speak it for you have to counteract that out of your life. So don't when you're serving the ball, you can't get that ball out of your court. Yeah. Because you don't win the court with the ball in your court. You win the ball with the ball out of your court. Yes. And so don't you don't just oh, that's right, just I guess ma'am. No, no, uh -uh. no, 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 no. surrounded by people who've been there done that and when people tell you can stop telling uh -huh. shut it down Amen. and listen yeah. too many times we do more talk when people are trying to help us right. Right. we can't be here because we can't hear them because we're too busy talking mm -hmm. we're talking over them yes. and, 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 I, and I know one of the things and, and I know one of the areas the Lord still working on me with is that as a teacher for someone to just come and want a situation fixed in, in one conversation. When this has to be a lifestyle. Yeah. See, we're learning how to overcome. Yeah. If it was just a one pill kind of thing, we would have had our pill or our lesson a long time ago and we would have gone our very way. But we are where we are today because of the process. Yeah. And so therefore, I become impatient when someone wants a miracle
the more I was seeing, is that it's, it's a process. And so I'll stop back and like, and this is why it's so key to be consistent in walking and living for the Lord. Because when just because you go up two steps and come back ten steps, now you gotta come back up those ten steps, go up those three steps where you are, now start back home. I mean, come on, y'all. Be consistent in your walk. You understand what I'm saying? Too many of us are like this. This should not describe our life. Amen. Up today. Down, 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 down tomorrow. Up today. And as high up as you go, that's as far down as you climb. The devil is a lie. Now just one block at a time. One block at a time to keep this from not ever happening to you. From going up and down, up and down, up and down. Remember what he told you. I'll never leave you alone. Right? He never leaves you alone. So regardless of whatever situation you're in, he's still there. He's still there. And as long as you can rely on that, you're in good state. Amen. Amen. And that's why you have to counteract those thoughts and those suggestions that tell you otherwise. Amen. Because you we will lose. We won't be consistent in our walk. Because there are days when I feel like, okay, I can trust him with this. Oh, but now tomorrow, now you know what? This has been so long. <laughs> you know what? Let me. I'm, okay, look, I've given you a chance. I've given you a day. You did not work it that day. Now I, now I know how to fix it. I'm just trying to let you be God. Come on. Come on. Now, I can do the fix of it. But I just well, I was trying to give you a chance to be God. <laughs> You know what? And, and, and Jason said, "Well, we don't say no because we don't even see it, but but our actions yeah. say it. Yeah. I've given you enough time to be God. Now I was trying to do this Christian thing, but you know this ain't working. So let me just go and handle my business. Yeah. And how many times do we bump our heads and have to turn around, and come back, right. and start back? Yeah. <sighs> mm. <laughs> it says, so let let us strip off." Be willing to lay down sin. Come on, you know, you know, don't let God have to 